Welcome to our deep dive into the fascinating world of post-harvest management, a crucial field that ensures the quality and longevity of our fruits and vegetables. Today, we're focusing on two key indicators that play pivotal roles in assessing produce quality, total soluble solids, TSS, and titratable acidity, TA. Understanding these measures not only helps in maintaining food quality, but also in enhancing flavors that we all love. Let's unravel the science behind ripeness, sweetness, and that perfect bite. Total soluble solids, or TSS, might sound complex, but it's essentially a measure of the sugars present in our fruits and vegetables. Higher TSS levels often mean sweeter produce, making it a vital metric for growers and consumers. Bricks can also reflect the presence of other soluble solids besides sucrose, including acids, salts, proteins, and other substances that dissolve in water. TSS refers to the concentration of soluble substances, primarily sugars and acids, in fruits and vegetables measured in degrees bricks. It indicates the ripeness, sweetness, and quality of produce. TSS provides an important, yet partial, snapshot of the produce's quality, which is invaluable in agriculture and food production processes, such as quality control to ensure consistency in food processing for creating jams, jellies, and beverages, and in agricultural research to aid in breeding and cultivating higher quality crops. A refractometer measures total soluble solids, TSS, by analyzing how light bends or refracts through a solution. The degree of refraction varies with the solution's concentration of soluble substances, allowing for the determination of TSS based on this principle. These days, digital refractometers are also available and are easy to use. Below is a breakdown of each part's name and function within the instrument. Refractometry is a method used to measure total soluble solids, TSS, in fruit juices and other solutions. The procedure for using a refractometer is straightforward. First, turn on the instrument to ensure it is ready for use. Then, calibrate it using water as your blank sample. This sets a baseline for your measurements. Simply add a few drops of water to the refractometer, close the cover plate to spread the water evenly over the prism, and then press the start or read button. The device should display a value, which you will set to zero. This step compensates for any background solution and ensures accuracy in your subsequent measurements. After calibration, you're ready to measure your actual sample. Thoroughly clean the prism surface to remove the water used for calibration. Then, place a few drops of the juice or solution you're testing onto the prism, close the cover plate, and press the start button. The refractometer will display the TSS in degrees bricks which is a scale that indicates the amount of sucrose or soluble solids present in 100 grams of solution. In today's lecture, we will measure the total soluble solids, TSS, in apple and garlic. Which do you think will be higher? We might assume that the apple's TSS would be higher because it is sweeter than garlic. Let's test our hypothesis and see if our guess is accurate. Using the TSS data, we will create a bar graph. After performing a t-test in Excel, we will mark any significant differences with an asterisk. To avoid bias, the y-axis values are intentionally misrepresented. This activity will also serve as a practical lesson in basic data input in Excel and how to conduct a t-test. We will also learn about titratable acidity, TA, which indicates sourness. In agriculture, TA is used to assess the ripeness of fruits and vegetables as fruits often decrease in TA as they ripen, leading to a sweeter taste. TA is a K-quality attribute that influences flavor, stability, and shelf life in fruits or juices. The total amount of acid present in a solution and is expressed as the amount of a standard base, such as sodium hydroxide, required to neutralize the acid. The TA of a solution is typically determined by adding a standard base, such as sodium hydroxide, to the solution until the pH reaches a certain endpoint, usually pH 8.2 or others. The amount of base required to reach the endpoint is then used to calculate the TA of the solution. The endpoint is often determined using a pH indicator, such as phenolphthalein, which changes color at a specific pH. 
TA can be better indicator for sourness than pH. While pH indicates the immediate intensity of sourness, TA determines the duration and intensity of the sour taste that lingers. For instance, even if two beverages have the same pH value, the one with a higher TA can make the sour taste be perceived for a longer period. Since pH is affected by the solution's buffering capacity, TA can provide a more accurate representation of a solution's total acid content, which is a major contributor to flavor. Here's a simplified step-by-step -step process to calculate TA. Take a known volume of the sample, e.g. 10 ml of juice. Slowly add the standardized NaOH solution from a burette to the sample until the pH 8.2 is reached. Record the volume of NaOH used to reach the endpoint. Calculate the TA using the formula. TA, volume of NaOH used, L, X molarity of NaOH, mol L, X equivalent weight of the acid, G mol, volume of the sample, L. For citric acid, the equivalent weight is typically used based on its molecular weight. The result will give you the TA as grams of the particular acid per liter of sample, which you can then convert to the desired units. For all TA measurements, two TA students will conduct a demonstration today. In addition, we will measure the total soluble solids, TSS, in 50 fruits from three different strawberry cultivars and record the data in Excel. Using this data, we will create a bar graph and conduct an ANOVA in Jamovi. We will also conduct a power analysis to determine the sample size required to differentiate the TSS measurements among the strawberry samples. In wrapping up, we've learned a lot about post-harvest management today. We now understand how important total soluble solids, TSS, and titratable acidity, TA, are in checking produce quality. By doing hands-on activities and talking about it, we've figured out how to measure sweetness and sourness, which is useful for farmers, food processors, and researchers. With this knowledge, we're all set to keep our fruits and veggies fresh and tasty from the farm to our plates. Thanks for being a part of this journey.